Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make tree bark texture using flex frost sheets by icing images. For this project we will need a tree bark mat, water, and flex frost sheets in white and bronze. Also keep in mind that you can definitely use this same technique with other mats in different colors. It's just a matter of preference or the project that you're working on that week. For my tree bark textured fabric, I'm going to start with the bronze paper first and then I will start adding layers of the white paper to the back of it just to create dimensions and to create different textures within the fabric. If you have seen my previous video on flex frost by icing images lace, then you already know the technique that we're going to use, but if you're new to my channel, Here's what we're doing. We're going to take pieces of this flex frost sheets and then dip it in some water. There is no correct amount of water. Just make sure that once you dip, you just wiggle the water out of your paper and you're going to go ahead and place it directly onto your mat. And at this point, you won't do anything to it. You're just going to wait until it sinks into all the crevices. And here you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Continue to cover the rest of your mat until you're satisfied with the amount that you have covered. And once your paper looks like a raisin, that's when we will start to spread. When your paper looks wrinkly and begins to create a paste on your spreader, that means it's completely ready to spread throughout your mat and that you're going in the right direction. Since I want the white sheets to be able to be seen through the brown or bronze of my paper, I'm going to go ahead and start layering the white flex frost sheets on top of the bronze already. So we're going to go ahead and use the same technique. You rip, dip, wiggle, and then place over your mat and wait until it begins to look a little bit wrinkly before you start moving it or spreading it. Keep an eye out on your second layer of paper and notice how although there is already one layer on your mat that it will still continue to get wrinkly and go deep down into the crevices of your mat. Since I want to give my first layer a bunch of different textures and colors, I'm going to go ahead and spread this white into the first layer to create a different shade of brown throughout the mat itself. Also keep in mind that you can use a little palette knife to help you take off any excess from your spreader and place it back into your mat. For the final stage of my tree bark textured fabric, I am going to add two layers of the white paper just to add some stability, but you can definitely do one layer. It just depends on how hard or how soft you want your fabric to be and how you want it to look when you place it onto your cake or your cookies. Also keep in mind that since this mat has a lot of holes and grooves, we won't be spreading the third and fourth layer of the white paper just to make sure that all of the lace fabric sticks together in one piece so that it's easier for you to cut and apply to cake or cookies. As far as drying, please keep in mind that you do have two options. I went ahead and used my dehydrator for 30 minutes at 125 degrees Fahrenheit or lower temperature, but you can also leave your lace or your fabric to dry overnight. Just keep in mind that depending on where you live, humidity will play a big factor on how long it takes for your fabric to dry. Keep 
here is how the back of your fabric will look. We're going to go ahead and use the same technique that we used for our other lace and start pulling at the corners and using a spreader to gently pull the fabric away from the mat in this same manner. Now that we have finished with our tree bark fabric lace, I will go ahead and leave you with small videos and photos of the end result and how I used it for my cake. I really hope this video was helpful for you and don't forget that if you do have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment box below and you can also find me on social media and don't be afraid to ask any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye!